welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe and well. And our player rating show in the company of Simon Rakowski from the Manchester Evening News. On a, yes, uh, a bit of a shattering game that. Awful, awful to watch. Awful. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, watch the talking point show, guys. This is just a player rating. So that's an interesting player rating. Some people, got, a lot of the players got good ratings uh, generally. Um, yeah, very interesting. Well, let's talk about it and let's do the ratings. Nottingham Forest 1, Manchester City 1 on the 18th of February, 3pm at the City Ground. Yes, please, if you are new to the channel, uh, press that subscribe button. I've still not recovered. I've press that subscribe button, press the bell notifications. It'd be great to have you on board, City Past, Present and Forever, of course. And if you are pressing pressing buttons or pressing buttons as well, if you are pressing buttons, please uh, push that like button as well. I'm trying to get between 15 and 20 likes for these City Blogs, so not a big target, so you can help me out towards that. Right, we'll just do this. As I say, please check out my Talking Point show, which will uh, come in, be coming out after this for a, a fuse on the game. This is just, just the players and, and what we thought, what Simon Bukowski thought and what I thought. I'll give you my little views as well. Right, let's start at the very beginning. Let's start with Edison. Simon said, alert to any potential danger, albeit while having very little to do all game other than pick the ball out of the net. Simon's given him a seven, give him a six. He didn't do enough to get a seven. Now to do, and when he had something to do, he didn't do it. I'm not saying it was necessarily his fault. I'm not, I couldn't face watching it back yet to analyse the goal, but yeah, I don't, I don't think you can give Edison a seven for that performance today. I've given him a six. Kyle Walker, Simon said, covered City from dangerous counters early on and worked well with Foden all game. He did, he played well, simple stuff, a lot of n nothing nothing too uh, exciting from Kyle. He just, just played the simple stuff. Simon's given him a seven. I give him a seven. Didn't say he didn't really have that much to do uh, as a team. We didn't have that much to do until the last 10 minutes. But, uh, of, of course, we couldn't do it when we had to. Ruben Diaz, Simon said, another commanding performance at the heart of the defence, keeping his cool under pressure and possession. And he's given him a seven. He's given him a seven. Yeah, I'll give him a seven. I mean, Diaz is a defender. And she's got to, get to, got to take some blame for that goal. We should be, you know, they stuck some a couple of big lads on. And, you know, I think tactic-wise, uh, Pep should have perhaps responded. And we've gone a little bit tighter in defence, but we just seemed to carry on regardless of what Knott's Forest were doing. And it fell back. It sort of we caught up, didn't we? So, yeah, nothing wrong with Diaz until the, until the goal, of course. He has to, he has to take some, some blame somewhere, surely, as a defender. I met it Laporte. I give him a seven, though. As I said, I just I can't say yes, it was his fault, so I'll give him a seven. I'm Eric Laporte. Simon said only he will know how he didn't head that past Navas. <laughs> yeah, all he had to do was head it to one side of him slightly, didn't he? And it would have been a goal. But mostly excellent otherwise. Yeah, I'd have to give him a seven again. He was, again, competent. I don't know how... How culpable he was in the goal, but yeah, it was not it was a good display, a good good team display. There's only three, two or three players let us down. Uh, Bernardo Silva, Simon said it's been a while since he took the game by the scruff of the neck, but his belting goal did just that. Yeah, he played a cracking game all round, but uh, he was partly at fault in the build up to the goal. There's plenty to plenty happened after he made a bit of a mess of it, you know. But he's playing all over that pitch, so I'm not going to have a too much of a doubt on him. I thought he was superb today. Simon's given him a seven. I'd give him an eight and a half. I just thought he was our man of the match today, Bernardo Silva. Today, he, you know, he made two errors that I noticed, and certainly one did end up in the goal. But as I said, it was, it, you know, pl there was plenty of stuff to go on before that went in the goal. So I'm not going to hold that against him and say the role is playing excellent. Rodri Simon said, aware of everything around him at all times. Apart from letting stopping a goal going in, making the right moves to keep City ticking, missed two good headers. Oh, shocking! At least that first one I think should have been on target. Second one again could have done better. Sam's given him a seven. I thought he played very very well, Rodri. Again, as I say, I'd, I don't know how culpable for the goal, but I'll give him. A, I'm going to give him a seven and a half. But he has to do better on headers. Uh, you know, he, he could have easily. You know, it wasn't just him. Other players could have sort of, you know killed the game for us as well and didn't. Ilkay Gundogan, I do differ on with Simon on this one. Simon says, similar to Rodri, found the right space to give City control in midfield. I'm sorry, uh, I thought Gundogan was absolutely useless today. I thought it was poor, made error after error after error. I thought it was shocking in a, in a game that we dominated, uh, which he should have stood out. I thought I'd, I don't, I'd have to disagree with Simon. He'd give him a seven, i give him a five. I thought that was uh, awful from Gundogan today. Kevin De Bruyne. 
Simon said, press well and ran hard, but his passing was off. And too many shots came to nothing. Yeah, at least half a dozen shots, I think. Absolutely nowhere near. Uh, one or two nice little moves. But in a game like that where we're dominating from midfield, all right, it's, it's tight. You know, you've got 10, 11 men behind the ball all the time, but he, he should be doing a little bit better. Simon's given a five. I'd have to give him a five just for the shocking shots, in, in fairness. Uh, I've sort of forgotten any decent passes he did. Uh, and just that shooting was awful today. I mean, and he never he kept kept doing it. I mean, if, if you do three or four, perhaps the next one, try and find someone else, Kevin. Phil Foden, Simon said, had his fullback on toast whenever he went at him and kept the Forest defence busy all game. Yeah, he had an excellent game, first game back. Cyber's so given a seven. I give him a seven and a half. I'll have to forgive him that stupid. I mean, again, was it three minutes into the second half? I mean, he, he great run. He should have just played Allen through when he had an early opportunity. He sort of hung on to it, thinking about shooting. Then by the time he was going to play it to Allen, he stumbled and absolutely cocked it up. But you know, apart from that, <laughs> he had a brilliant first half. Yes, as as most of the city players did the second half. Not so good the second half, but I give him a seven and a half. Simon's given him a seven. Jack Grealish, Simon said, another important contribution with the assist. Won plenty of free kicks, but faded in the second, as did some of the others as well. Uh, Simon's given him a seven. I'm going, to give him, I'm going to give him a seven and a half. Not much wrong from Jack. He won a few important free kicks. Didn't lose the ball that much. Got fouled a few times and didn't get anything given. Uh, but I think we just need that killer punch, don't we? Just need the, needed that little bit of space to shoot and score another deflected goal or something like that. It just didn't happen. Again, it just just didn't quite happen. And yeah, the enigma, the enigma that is Erling Haaland, a bizarre decision, said Simon, to try and win the penalty. It certainly was. I mean, just go and shoot, man. I mean, there was nothing in that. He was wasn't going to get that in a million years. I have no idea why he went for that. And he fired. Obviously, he hit the bar initially with a shot I hit into the ground and then the follow-up he, he blasted it a la bit of the community shield where he blasted it over the bar from close in yeah so Simon said bizarre decision to try and win the penalty and fired over inexplicably moments later uh, he's given a four I can't, I can't argue with that he was awful he's you know even when the ball was pumped up to him he wasn't winning anything he wasn't doing anything there's once or twice he managed to get it back to a city player but yeah, a couple of okay moves in and around the box to set someone else up, but he was awful. As a, as a as a striker, as a target man, he was awful. And I'll have to I'll have to go with four as well. There's no time to mark the substitutes. Of course, Alvarez came on in 88 minutes too late, and Nathan Aki uh, 89 minutes too late. But we'll probably talk about Pep's wonderful substitutions in the talking points. And there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. I say it's a lot of players had a good game today. <laughs> a lot of players let us down today, as far as so some of those players had a good game. Let us down just at crucial moments and uh, two or three players didn't play so well did they let's be honest about it it just it didn't go right hey but there we go we could have drawn with Arsenal and beat Forest. that would have probably seemed a little bit better that in fairness but uh, hey it's, it won't be typical it's a typical city isn't it we don't do things the easy way do we very frustrating I'll try and calm down as I get to the talking points at the moment. I'm just uh, a bit flabbergasted. You could probably tell when I started this uh, this vlog. But let me know your views, guys. Let me know your player races. It'd be great to hear from you. And please uh, join me for the Talking Points show. And don't forget, next week there will be a, a preview, of course, of the Leipzig game as well. That's uh, yes, comes up. About we'll talk about that. We'll talk about Pep's plans for that as well because it certainly didn't go to plan today, did it? And I think he played a strong team, hope to drag players off if we went two or three goals ahead. Didn't happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again, that's one thing. Don't I? please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.